Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Star Tropics. We are in this ruins type area in this mysterious cave. The very mysterious cave of music. Uh, I think this might actually be a maze. Um, maybe not. No, I think all the paths lead here. And we get a, another big heart. Good stuff. Puts me up to 13. Uh, oh no, so they don't all lead here. Actually, would have missed that big heart if I didn't go over that way. Actually, I really like this track, too. It's, uh... Sets a good tone. Uh, I don't think this is the way. Maybe it is. Mm, nope, this is gonna be a dead end, isn't it? Sure is. All right, so we gotta go all the way back to the left. That's fine. This is very foreboding music for otherwise uh, pretty light-hearted theme. What is over this way? Okay, that just all connects together. Um, does it though? It's a dead end. I feel like I've, I've never actually explored this area in any of my playthroughs. In fact, I, I would almost go out on a limb to say I might not have usually gotten that heart. What is this? How mysterious. A big old rock with some holes in it. it. Has three holes where something used to be. Can't read the cipher on it. Alright. And we're heading into another level. I seem to recall this one being more challenging than the last by a fair margin, and I didn't exactly do particularly well in the last one, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I was gonna say, there's gotta be a hidden thing over here. And this actually shows you that, uh, oh, geez. I wonder if there is an item up here. Nope, it's just a trap. Now I'm gonna get hit by those bats. Fortunately, they only do half a heart of damage. Uh, so basically, the level layout there shows you, points you with the, the arrow based out of the wall, and lets you see the next room. And by seeing the next room, you realize that there is a door to the south, and the only way you could possibly get there is back through here. So if you go to the right, there is a hidden passageway. Somewhere in here is the switch. There it is. I wonder if it's faster to keep jumping, or actually jump off and then run up. If you really wanted to push the limits of it. We might as well pick up these two hearts, we're not going to come back for them. Alright, we got more of these, uh, tracker spikes, except these, uh, whoa, are knives. I believe they also do more damage than the other ones. And we have a new item here. Actually, a pretty cool item. This, like, dual throwing star. The way it works is you... <laughs> Boy, it's been a while. Uh, you fire it, and then you press the button again, and it splits. And they use this uh, throughout the level quite a bit. Just checking to make sure that there are no other items here. The more of these I can get, the better. They also do pretty good damage. I think they do as much damage as the shooting star. Ah, so here we go. Do this. Now, unfortunately, we have this uh, spike here. I wonder... I actually do this, I think. Yeah, there we go. And then I can get this spike moving. This is like the metal balls from the previous level. We have some... 
flies. They're basically just bats. I think they might move a little faster. Hmm, which path do we take first? Uh, maybe the top path? Oh, this might have actually been the way to go. In which case, I might want to go backwards? Let's check the left path, just in- oh dear. Just in case. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say this rough. <laughs> Good hearts for the ones I lost, getting over here. Are there any hidden things in here? Uh, nope, I guess not. A lot of health at the beginning of this stage, though. I guess, again, if you didn't get the big heart, then it gives you an opportunity to refill, because otherwise you'd be stuck with the yo-yo and in pretty big trouble here. For once, I didn't fall for this bat pattern. This bat pattern is seen, I want to say, more often than other patterns in the game, but it could just be in my head. Now, we have new enemies. These are basically overpowered dodos. Uh, and we've got these little fuzzy balls. Um, touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Basically, if you touch these, you can't use your weapon. Which is bad news. All right, so this area is kind of a bit of a trick. Um, now, obviously, we don't want to go up. Um, if we make that jump, we will die. I don't think we can go up on this side either, so I'm not even gonna try it. I'm just gonna continue forward here. Alright, we have this enemy. I don't know what this is called, I just know that it does a staggering amount of damage. Um, it does like three hearts of damage if it shoots you, and if it touches you, I don't remember if it's a one-hit kill or if it's just damn close, um, but it does a lot of damage. Nice. Yeah, it, it does something like either an insta-kill or like 10 hearts of damage or something. Oh no, we lost a life from the sign! But we get some hearts, thankfully. And more of the, uh, the twin stars. 100% sure what they're actually called. I'm sure they have a specific name. So, we get this room again, except that... Now it's a little trickier, because now we have to activate the, um, oh goodness, the, uh, the bouncing ball thing, right? Oh, this is actually gonna kill me here. Yeah, we got a heart. Uh. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we got a uh, new enemy here. This is kind of this rock man. He killed me. So they teleport around. I believe while they're teleporting around, they will do damage to you. Um, oh man, this is actually a great place to start, because we're gonna get... Oh no, we're not gonna get full health. Oh yes we are. Or, I should say shooting star health. The only amount of health that actually matters, to be honest. I believe you can jump over those rock guys. Um, oh man, these things are actually way harder to dodge than I was remembering. Yep. Nope. Landed right on it. Alright. Jump cut time. Alright, we're back outside of that room with the, uh, the rock men. And the, uh, the name of the throwing star is actually the asterisk. I looked it up while I was getting back here. Alright, let's head in here and take these guys out. I think the, the asterisk is actually the, uh, the best way to take out these guys. Do one of these. There we go. It does kill them in one shot. Plus, you can stay out of their line of fire. I think it might be too far away there, yeah. Whoops. That was close. Nice. Definitely one of the more clever weapons in the game, I feel. Yeah, see if I can take out these flies. Fortunately, I did get hit there. There we go. And we get another set of the Twin Stars. Oh, now we gotta deal with two of these guys at once, which is a little harder. Especially when they get desynced. Nice, okay. Got 
Got that one. One more? Where is he? There he is. I was gonna say. Alright. Now we got the uh, spikes again. It's up there. I think there are more of them here. I don't remember if there are items in here. Seems the answer to that is no. Now this guy I think is just like a mummy. Just tanky. He doesn't uh, teleport or throw rocks or anything like that. We might have to deal with both of these. Oh, okay, we got these guys now. Yeah, these are basically just mummies or uh, any of the other slow moving tanky enemies. Ah. Now, the little fuzzball doesn't do damage, but it does prevent you from attacking. I think you might be able to use your secondary weapon. If I get hit by one again, I'll try that. Pretty standard room, though. It's just kind of a, uh, oh. Wait a minute. Ah, hidden platform, or hidden... Must have to jump down here? Yeah, okay, there we go. I don't know if this was a secret or if this is the, actually the intended way to go. Oh, we got a medicine, which is always nice, and more of the uh, twin stars. Hmm. Can we go through here somewhere? No, I guess not. Hmm. Strange. Alright, now we got two of these guys. Which is no joke. Trying to kind of stay not on their uh, their pathway, so I'm not having to dodge their attacks. And again, you do not want to get touched by these things. Um, one shot will kill me, I'm pretty sure. You know what? I'm actually going to use my medicine here. Be safe about it. I don't know if hitting with both stars does more damage than hitting with uh, just the one. My guess would be no, and that the game was not programmed to do that, but I could be wrong. Now, I'm hoping I get more of these because I do need them for the boss of this area, and this is not the boss of this area. Or is it? No, 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 I'm pretty sure it's not. I may be thinking of something else, though, but I don't think this is the boss of this area. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I am in big trouble now because I definitely needed uh, the asterisk. Okay, there are more of them. A lot of multitasking here. Um, I'm in trouble. Ah, oh, it's gonna kill me. Shoot. I wonder where I start here. Uh, but yeah, obviously you can see that the asterisks are used uh, for that boss. Oh man, I'm gonna have to fight those other guys again. That is a bummer, especially because I just took damage on those uh, those knives. Now these guys with the yo-yo are definitely gonna be a little challenging. I'm almost tempted to just uh, take another death go back and get my shooting star again, but let's go. Certainly doable. I just won't have any safety net if I do get touched by the fuzzies. The, uh, the fuzz balls do some sort of weird, like they don't necessarily always bounce. Like they kind of move in a pattern where like they're bouncing off the wall, but you can see them changing direction slightly every time they come to a stop. Makes them a little harder to predict. I think they follow a set pattern with that, but not 100%. Fortunately, they don't do damage, they just do annoyance. Oh, come on. Not gonna make it. Nope. Oh my goodness. So I'm probably in pretty big trouble here at this level of health. Level is pretty tough. 
They give you a lot of uh, potential refills, but why did I do that? I didn't even have to fight these things. Oh, you dummy. Totally wasn't thinking about that. Uh, I think we get some hearts in here, right? Or we just get an asterisk in here. Uh, I feel like... Well, I might as well use the medicine, right? Like, I'm not gonna overcap. Well, I'm gonna have to use this now. Man, this level. I don't... I uh, believe the boss takes a lot of hits, so I can kind of afford to use these here. However, I am gonna run out before these die, I think. That was some dicey maneuvering there. Actually got both of This is what you really want, is to be able to hit both. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna have to do this. And there's a good chance that I'm not gonna be able to kill these with the yo-yo, but I will try. Wow, I am actually kind of impressed with myself for doing that. Unfortunately, it's gonna put me in a really bad place for the boss. But we'll give it a shot and see what happens. All right. Pick this up. I've only got 10 of these, which is not good. I actually am trying to wonder, can you hit the boss without them? You must be able to. But I think it involves going on the uh, platform with the fire. It's not ideal. I'm trying to bait those fireballs. You can see too, they're not like a static Firing pattern? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go on the platform with the fireballs, I think. So I've never actually killed this. I actually have no idea how you... Oh, you can... Yeah, I've never actually fought this boss without enough asterisks, so that's kind of interesting. Alrighty. Uh, if I don't get it on this attempt, what I'll probably do is just uh, cut until I've gotten to that point with a ton of asterisks. At least I know this time I don't have to deal with these... Uh, these Rock mummies. That'll save me some time. And I should fight the the big statues um, with my shooting star and save all the asterisks. Medicine. Might as well use it now. Putting up to full or close to it. All right, so we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Ah. Fortunately, I'm getting myself caught in uh, animation frames, basically, where I'm still firing while I'm trying to jump. That is no good. Yeah, and Mike is not the most responsive NES character in existence. Ah, damn it. All right, let me let me cut again. Boy, this series has been full of that, hasn't it? Alright, let's do this. I have all 20 of my original asterisks this time. So, let's see what I can do here. Now, I could get closer to be able to fire more often, but I think that this place is the easiest to dodge their fireballs. Wow, that was that was really easy. In fact, it looks like if you hit all of the ten, uh, it would have been enough. Because I think I missed one there, um, and I used eleven. So now I know I'm not going to keep my items, but I will keep my health. And I can't remember if there's another big heart here or not. So we've done it. Alright, let's walk through this cave before I end the episode here. And 
and very ominous town. I wonder if this chapter is actually longer than chapter three. It might be. But well, we're coming to the end of it, and who's that? Hey, it's Dr. J! Uncle Steve. Looks a lot like our father. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Found a big rock, the one we passed earlier. It wasn't really a rock, though. So there are actual aliens! Argonians sent their last escape pod here. That's what that rock was. Had the magic cubes. But the aliens are coming to get them. Uh, no, please do not repeat that story. Sure you don't have a little bit of heat stroke there, Uncle Steve? The aliens have the cubes now. I will go to the alien spaceship and get them back. Alright. Sure. Oh, we can actually talk to him again? Did I get the bananas out of my ears? Yes? I wonder if that's like the story repeat. It must be. That's, <laughs> that's really funny. We have a stairway up here. Uh, and I'm gonna... Oh, nope, it actually is gonna move us automatically. I stand corrected. There we go. Chapter 7. Alright, so we will pause here for now, and next time we will continue. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.